Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 994. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about Google Parent Alphabet is splitting 20 for 1. What does that mean to you? Is that something you should be paying attention to or maybe even considering investing in? That's what we're going to talk about today. So stocks can split for different reasons. And experts tend to downplay stock splits because they really are the same price after the split, meaning there is no change of value, but there is in some ways, which we'll talk about in a minute. But theoretically, if you have a $200 stock that splits 10 for one and it becomes $20 and you get 10 shares at $20 or you have one share at $200, that is the same value. It's just that the numbers are smaller and the share size is bigger. But one share at $200 is the same as 10 shares at $20. So experts just tend to downplay these kinds of things and say, well, it's really no change. Change. However, there is a big change, and that's the psychological effect that splits have. And we can look at splits in the past, such as when Apple split four for one, when Tesla split five for one, Nvidia split four for one. These were splits that caused big moves in the stock prices. And that's because investors tend to like the idea of having more shares. And they understand that owning more shares could mean future growth and some important things that splitting shares does, such as possible inclusion in another index, such as when Tesla split and then was added to the S&P 500. Now that means that every index fund, every ETF that invests in the S&P 500 has to buy Tesla, and that only was made possible because Tesla split its stock and reduced its price. After Tesla announced their 5 for 1 split, the stock actually skyrocketed 615% before the split. After Apple announced a 4 for 1 split, it skyrocketed 125%. And after Nvidia announced a 4 for 1 stock split, its stock went up 316% before the split. So it's well documented that the psychological effect is that buyers will buy because they want to participate in owning more shares and in the ability for maybe something good happening on the other side, like is rumored with Alphabet and Google. And that is that perhaps the split is happening so that it can be included in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which is a group of only 30 companies that it could become part of if its share price became lower. And the reason why its share price would need to be lower to be included in the Dow is because the Dow is a price-weighted index, meaning that high-priced stocks have an outsized influence in the index. And therefore, it would make sense that Google, being around $3,000 a share, would have to do about a 20 to 1 split, which is exactly what it announced, in order to come down to the share price that it should be around $150 to be included in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Since Google's parent Alphabet made the announcement, the stock price has already gone up 7.5%. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to continue to go up and up and up without any pullbacks. These things tend to be very volatile, and there's a lot of sharp moves up and sharp moves down that happen prior to the stock split. And we also have plenty of time between now and when the split takes effect, because you have to be a shareholder as of July 1st, and the stock will split on July 15th. And shareholders of each share will get 19 more shares. So you have several months of volatility where the stock could be dramatically higher and dramatically lower. So just be aware of that. 
You don't want to buy it after it's just shot up quite a lot because chances are there will be some profit taking and there will be some pullbacks. What you really want to do is buy the dips like we normally do. Alphabet also had a good earnings report for the fourth quarter, which was an increase in revenue of 41% to $257.6 billion in the quarter. So it's one of the most valuable companies being worth more than $2 trillion. Only a handful of companies are worth that much. And it has incredible profitability and revenue growth, even for being such a massive company. And if you listen to my podcast on Friday, you'll know that Google is stealing some of Facebook's advertising revenue. So this big jump in Google's revenue could have been partly taken from Facebook, where people have moved away from advertising on Facebook and paying for ads over there to instead advertising on Google, where it's been more accurate and the advertising seems to have been paying off better. So this could be a strong new trend for Alphabet Google, and it could mean that the profitability is on a new trajectory, which is another great reason to own the stock long term. Are there any downsides to buying the stock before a split? I really can't think of any other than the stock can get ahead of itself, run way up, and if people get too excited and buy at those run-up tops, well, you could see quite a bit of a pullback, and it could be very scary and also cause you to lose some money if you panic and sell. So you want to look for those pullbacks, and if you're considering buying the stock, buy the dips, You have plenty of time to jump in, but you can buy the stock on weakness, and that's your best bet to getting a good price. Stock splits this large at 20 to 1 are uncommon, and that makes this something special. But again, I just want to stress the point. You don't ever buy the stock just because of the split, although emotionally people do, but you really want to buy a stock because of the revenue stream and the profitability of the company, the earnings. That's what really will drive the price of the stock long term, although the stock split can be a nice catalyst and is giving a boost to the stock that already had great news come out because of its 41% revenue increase in the fourth quarter. So it already shot up because of that, then adding the announcement of a 20 for one split. Well, like I said, this is going to cause some volatility on the upside. That's going to be a dramatic gain, but watch for a dramatic pullback because that's really where the opportunity is. Now, Alphabet also has class A and class C shares. These are two listed share classes that use slightly different ticker symbols. G-O-O-G-L shares are its class A shares, also known as common stock, which have the typical one share, one vote structure. And G-O-O-G shares are class C shares that don't have any voting rights. So just be aware that there is a difference between class A and class C. I think it's always nice to have the voting rights. So personally, I prefer the G-O-O-G-L shares, and that allows you to weigh in on any changes that the company might need your vote for. This split for Alphabet Google is only the second split for the stock since it went public in 2004. It had a two-for-one split in 2014 and created the company's Class C shares at that time. And there is a slight difference in price between the Class A shares and the Class C shares, but it's only about $1.50. So it's worth it, in my opinion, to buy the Class A shares, G-O-O-G-L, and get the voting rights. A stock split is often a sign that a company is doing extremely well, and that's a good thing, because at $3,000 a share, well, it's become pretty pricey and less affordable for investors. So by splitting its stock 20 for one, and getting it down to around 150 or so a share, it's going to make it a lot more affordable and broaden the appeal to investors. But I think the real story is probably it's going to be added to the Dow 30. So remember, in order to be eligible for the split, you need to own the stock by July 1st. If you don't own it by July 1st, you're too late to get the 20 for one split and you'll just buy it at the lower price. So does it make sense to buy? I think for all the reasons I've given you, it does make sense. But check with your financial advisor and use this only as a starting point for your research. Just remember, I'm expecting this to be extremely volatile between now and July. 
So look for those dips, pick up the bargains, and don't chase the big run up. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available so you never miss one of them. And my entire podcast library of almost 1,000 podcasts is on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts, whereas Apple only has a few hundred. So if you want to look into paying off debt or asset allocation models or how to improve your credit score or millionaire mindset or cryptocurrencies, any other topics that I talk about are on my website library. So be sure to go there and check out the back episodes. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.